All right, everybody, how's it going? Um, it is that time of the year again, finally. Uh, I know we had just had the Hall of Fame game, and it kind of feels like saying the NFL season is finally here again. It seems redundant, but it was really just the Hall of Fame game that we just had, and that was kind of a really boring game uh, between two teams. Really, only the fans of those two teams wanted to watch. I, I doubt like Titans fans wanted to see what the Broncos looked like or what the Falcons looked like. I really, you know what I mean? It was, eh. So this really is the start of the NFL season, and here we are. It's finally here. We got week one of the NFL preseason. We got some picks to go over for our pick'em uh, stuff that we like to do here on the channel. I'm very excited. Every team is playing either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. No games on Sunday. Um, no, no reason to have them on Sunday. It's only football, which is supposed to be on Sunday. Let's just whatever. I'm fine. It's every night of the weekend, basically Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we've got a lot of football we could watch, a lot of games to look forward to, a lot of things to look at. Um, of course, a lot of this, we already kind of know how the first preseason game goes. Most of the time, the starters don't play in week one. Um, if they do, it's only for a series. So this is really just looking at the backups, uh, what your team might have like a as for depth, um, who might make the team, who might not make the team. Uh, it, it's, it's sort of a meh week. Uh, week two is kind of the same. Week three is the actual week where predictions will be more... Um, accurately made it'll be made more on what the starters are uh how they did last year you know like starters the moves they made this is more how they drafted maybe some like small signings and you know just kind of a gut feeling of how i think the games are going to go so um i gave last year's record i gave um all the playoff teams an asterisk the patriots got a couple because they won the super bowl um so here we are, week one of the NFL preseason. Let's go over our picks and uh, the schedule for it, basically. All these games are in order of the way they'll be played. Um, 7.30 to 10 in so on, Friday, on Thursday and yada, yada, yada. I forgot to put the times. Sorry about that. Oh, well. Thursday night football, though. Here we are, folks. And what we got first is sort of a... Eh, it's the battle in New York, right? It's the Jets versus the Giants. Who's worse? Um, last year, the Jets finished 4-12. and The Giants 5-11. and So the Giants were significantly better, I guess, by a game. Um, I don't really know what that means, but you know, um, the giants, of course, uh, I don't, we're not going to go too in depth on any of these teams really. Um, not right now, just because it's like, eh, this game is going to be a struggle to watch. It's going to be a lot like the Broncos and the Falcons. I would imagine there's a lot of punting, a lot of special teams play in this game. Um, we get to see Daniel Jones, which will be exciting. Uh, we, we won't get to see much of the new look Jets because they're not going to be probably playing guys like Le'Veon, Darnold too much, um, Mosley. Like, none of their big signings are going to play. Maybe some Quinn and Williams, maybe. <clears throat> so, I don't know. Uh, the Giants, it's kind of the same thing. We get to see Daniel Jones, at least. That'll be interesting. Um, but I do actually have the Giants winning this game. I think they're... <sighs> This one was really hard to call. You could tell when I pick games, if I ever do picks and it's like a three point spread, it's because I'm this is a toss up to me. Um, I'm going with the Giants over the Jets to win this game on Thursday night. Who knows? Uh, we have the Indianapolis Colts who went 10 and six and made the playoffs last year facing off against the Buffalo Bills. Um, we know what the Colts are when they, when they don't have Andrew Luck. They're a terrible team. So I'm putting my money on the Colts still being a terrible team without Andrew Luck. Um, I don't know who their backup is. He's obviously playing because Luck's out with a, a calf injury. Shocker. Um, so I don't think they'll win this game. Uh, the Bills seem to be like this weirdly competent team. They're like this indie darling the rest of the NFL seems to be pulling for to like dethrone the Patriots. Everyone's like, watch out for them Bills and Josh Allen, yo. Uh... They got Ed Oliver too, bro. Yeah, we've we've seen this song and dance. Build a super defense, Buffalo. I'm sure that'll finally stop the Patriots. Same to the Jets. Build them super defenses, you guys. It's been working in the past. It's really done some great work for you. Anyway, um, I think the Bills do win this game, though. Uh, I just think they're... I don't know. The Colts suck without luck. That's just the truth. It's, it's that, That's what it is. And I, I, I hate the Colts and the Bills. 14-10, I guess. Bills win. Um, again, a lot of this is just gut feelings. Until I see the teams play, I have no idea. Eh, I'm trying to I'm trying to treat it with kid gloves. This is a uh, matchup I'm very interested in watching. Um, I don't know if Foles is going to play, and if he does, how long. I don't know if Lamar is going to play, and if he does, how long. Um, 
and be, I just think the Ravens are a better overall, like deeper team on offense than the Jaguars are. And we've seen that like obviously in years past with the Jaguars. Uh, they're pretty skin. They're pretty, you know, pretty thin uh, at the quarterback position. So I have no idea what they're going to have other than Nick Foles. Um, and because of that, I think it's going to be kind of a disastrous game. I think the Ravens are going to go out there and kind of assume, ass- assert their will because they're just kind of got this dominant defense. I think their defense scores, their offense scores a touchdown. And they kick a field goal in route to a 17-7 kind of blowout victory on week one. Uh, both these teams, I expect them to be good. It's just the Jaguars, they're pretty thin at, you know, starting quarterbacks. So uh, I think the second string play is going to be awful to watch. It's going to be hilarious, but the defense st- shit here should be fun. So, yeah, you know, uh, Titans versus the Eagles. Both teams went nine and seven last year and the Eagles made the playoffs. The Titans did not. They just missed. Um I don't know. I don't really have anything negative to say about either team except Mariota is the biggest question mark I've ever seen at quarterback. And Carson Wentz, if he can stay healthy, who knows? Um, But we do know that... uh, Actually, I'm a big fan of Wentz, just so everybody knows. He's only missed eight games in his career out of 48, uh, potentially. So he's 40 of 48. So I don't know. I'm not that injury prone. But, you know, he's not like Andrew Luck, who's actually missed a season due to injuries. Or Matthew Stafford. Or Tom Brady. Or... Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, the actual injury-prone quarterbacks who have missed, like, mo- like double-digit games. I mean, if you don't count the playoffs, wh- whatever. Um, so, I have the Titans beating the Eagles in a very close game, a very fun game. I think both teams have tremendous depth. I think both teams are very well coached. I think both teams... This will probably be the best game of the preseason on Thursday night. Um, should be fun to watch. A good pretty back and forth. Luis Perez should probably play for the Eagles at some point. We're going to see Ryan Tannehill. And that's probably why the Titans win this game is because the backup for the Titans is Ryan Tannehill. And he's a pretty capable starter in the NFL, you know, seven and nine with the Dolphins last year. Not the best record, but, you know, if he didn't get hurt, they they probably have a different outcome. We'll we'll see about that. Um, So I like the Titans to win this game simply because I trust Tannehill more than I trust uh, Luis Perez. Both of those two figure to play a lot of this game, so... 17 to 13, give me the Titans. Uh, Miami Dolphins face the Atlanta Falcons. This should probably be another boring fucking game that I have no business watching. Um, Dolphins stink. They're going to stink worse than they did last year. Uh, one of the worst offensive lines. They don't really have much at quarterback. I think they lost a lot of players on their offense. Um, the Falcons, that was just really boring to watch. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Hopefully Ryan or somebody plays today because Jesus Christ. That game against the Broncos was sad. I think both teams punted the ball 50 times. I think there was more punts than there was than there was completed positive passes uh, in that game. But I don't know. <sighs> Give me the Dolphins 13-10 in a game I don't care about. This is the game I will be watching. The Patriots, of course, uh, win 11-5, won the Super Bowl. The uh, Lions win 6-10, uh, kind of faltering under their first year with Jim, uh, or with Matt Patricia, sorry. Um, the Patriots, I think, will win this game 21-17. to It'll, It's going to be very interesting to see how they're using Danny Etling and that kind of like a Taysom Hill role. Um, they've all, they're also going to see a lot of Jarrett Stidham in this game. I don't imagine Brady plays much at all um, or Stafford, if at all. Um, so, you know, it's going to be backups first backups. But, you know, the Patriots, uh, for what it's worth, the Lions did w- beat the hell right out of the Patriots in their regular season matchup. But this is, of course, the preseason um, I think the Patriots are going to be playing with a different kind of purpose this season. I think they're, I have fe- a feeling the Patriots are en route to a 14 and two or another undefeated season. You can kind of hate me for that if you'd like, but I have very, very 07 vibes about this team. Sue me. Um, I like the, I like the Patriots to win 21 to 17, uh, you know, in Detroit. So go Lions though. Still more Thursday night football. There's a lot of games being played on Thursday night. Uh, the Browns face the Redskins, and I just decided this is going to be my big blowout. 17-6, to the Browns destroy the Redskins in hilarious fashion. I imagine the Browns are just going to play their entire starters the whole game against the Redskins' entire backup. So, like, the Redskins basically got a whole team of guys out there who are going to be practice squad dudes. And the Browns still got, like, Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, Njuku. Uh, they, they got fucking... <laughs> They, they got Chubb in the backfield, <laughs> and they're just running through these mi- tiny little linebackers who are <laughs> just not going to make the team anyway. I, I imagine that's how the Browns are going to play this game. 
I really hope that's how they play this game. And Baker's just diamond balls over shit defensive backs. Fucking goes over to the fucking thing, rips open a beer, and starts shotgunning beers on the sideline of the Browns game. That would be pretty cool. That's probably what's going to actually happen during this game. So 17-6, to give me the Browns over the Redskins. During the preseason, I'm going to make hilarious picks with this uh, Browns team. Just because everyone thinks they're like this team of destiny. They're going to go from like 1-15, and 0-16 oh to... 7 8 and 1 a team that you know 1 and 5 against good teams with Baker um to a Super Bowl whatever so Brown 17 to 6 as they play their entire starters and just steamroll the practice squad Redskins uh next game Houston Texans oh what a shocker uh the Texans win 11 and 5 and won their division um some sad ass team from Green Bay went 6 9 and 1 last year a second straight year of uh multiple you know under 500 with supposedly the GOAT at quarterback. It's his defense. Okay, sure. Brady had bad teams for a while and still made the playoffs. Remember that 10-year stretch no Super Bowls for the Patriots? They were still in the playoffs. Rodgers been 10 years since his last Super Bowl now, hasn't it been? Oh, wait, yes, it's that 10th year, isn't it? Starting to look pretty bad for Mr. A-Rod. He hasn't won a playoff game. He hasn't won a, you know, been to the Super Bowl since he last won it. Kind of suspicious. He's lost to guys like Russell Wilson, a rookie. Uh, Eli Manning, I believe, is beating him. So you got to kind of, you know, for that reason and the fact that he's their quarterback, um, they're going to lose 24 to nothing to the Houston Texans. Um, Rodgers uh, throws seven interceptions in his first seven throws because the Packers are going to be stupid and try to play him. And J.J. Watt destroys him. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't like the Packers. 24 nothing. the Texans beat the Packers. I'm going to get this one wrong. Let's go on to the next game. I think the uh, Chicago Bears beat the Carolina Panthers in a very close game. The reason I have this game so close is because I have no idea what Chase Daniels is going to do with the football. And then the guy after Chase Daniels, I don't even know who that is. Um, might just be Chase Daniels the whole game. I have no idea if that's the case, though, in 13-10. Uh, we'll probably see some Will Greer out of Carolina tonight. That'll be very, not tonight, but on Thursday night. That'll be fun to watch, a little different. Um, we're probably not going to see any bit of Cam Newton. So, uh, some Will Greer. Uh, that'll, that'll be fun, right? I don't know. 13-10. and 10, The Bears, of course, won the NFC North and went 12-4 and 4 on an immaculate turnaround after getting Khalil Mack. The, uh, the Panthers went 7-9, and nine, uh, missed Cam Newton for most of the season. They started 6-2. and two, Cam got hurt and finished 7-9. and nine. Cam, Cam Newton's impact on that team cannot be understated. 7-9, and nine, started 6-2. and two. Just, you know, 1-6 to end the season. Or 1-7 to end the season. Uh, then we have, oh, God, the Broncos. Broncos don't get any wins. Uh, the Broncos won kind of on an exciting end of the thing. I'm imagining we'll see more Drew Locke. He's probably going to look a lot better. Seahawks are good. I don't care about this game. I didn't even think about it. 14-13. You could tell by the score I forgot about this game. Uh, the Seahawks 14, Broncos 13, 10 and 6. Seahawks made the playoffs last year. Broncos went 6 and 10 and went and got Joe Flacco. Good move. I thought Flacco was heading to Jacksonville and maybe that Nick Foles was going to wind up in Denver, but they pulled the old flip flop on me. And now we got this. I don't care. Uh, let's see, we got the Los Angeles Chargers taking on the Arizona Cardinals in what should be a hilarious debut for Kyler Murray, who I learned is smaller than most defensive backs. Um, so now I guess we'll get to learn Thursday night. We get to see if Kyler can do it. Can he take the big hits? And if he can, great if he plays. Uh, Phillip Rivers probably won't play, but I still think the Chargers are going to win. Cardinals are a really bad football team that went 3-13 and last year. Uh, the Chargers went 12-4 and and did not win the division. The Chiefs did, but they made the playoffs. So, 2014 Cardinals got a win before to me to prove it. So, let's move on. Friday Night Football, just a couple games. At 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the host, Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers went 9-6-1, missing the playoffs. So did the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at 5-11. and um, I like the Steelers to win this game. I think Big Ben has a bounce back year. I think the Steelers have a bounce back year. And this team kind of... Regroups with chemistry. I think they fixed that in the offseason. Um, they cut two big pieces out that were kind of addition by subtraction uh, in terms of morale, team boot, you know, the, the whole nine yards. I think the team's in better shape. We'll see. I guess we'll see with the Steelers, right? 
Uh, but the Bucks are in pretty bad shape. They got rid of everybody. It's Bruce Arias and Jameis Winston versus the world. And we won't see Jameis Winston probably. So give me the Steelers 14-7. Let's go on to the 8 o'clock game. We have the Minnesota Vikings taking on the New Orleans Saints. This will probably be game of the weekend. Um, this It's Friday night, 8 o'clock. We got the Saints hosting the Vikings. Of course, the last time these two teams met, uh, that was... Uh, that was fun to watch. The Saints uh, lost a game on against a guy, uh, <coughs> Stefan Diggs. Remember that guy just kind of tried to tackle him and fell down. Very, very funny. Um, let's see how the Saints and Vikings respond. I think that's the first time these two teams have met and will meet in New Orleans since that game. So cool, cool. The uh, Saints went 13-3 and last year making the playoffs. The Vikings went 8-7-1 and and missed. So we'll see what happens. Uh, neither team starters are going to play, so it'll probably be pretty boring. Oh, wow, that was it. Saturday Night Football. All right, we're close, coming in on a close here. We got the Rams taking on the Raiders. I, I think it's going to be a close game because I don't think the Rams are going to be as good as everyone thinks they're going to be this year. I think there's a bit of, like, we've been exposed by in that Super Bowl, but we'll see if teams follow the blueprint on how to beat the Rams that Bill Belichick so eloquently drew up. Um, the Raiders, of course, added a bunch of people that won't be playing in this game. Derek Carr probably won't be playing. I like the Rams. They're a more de- uh, They have more depth, so... The 4-12 last year Raiders, so I don't know. Rams played in the Super Bowl, so 13-3. I like them from last year. 21-20, Rams beat the Raiders. At 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bengals went 6-10. They they didn't have Andy uh, Dalton for much of last year. This year, they're probably not going to have much of uh, green, you know, for a few weeks anyway. Uh, The Chiefs, of course, went 12-4. I forgot to put their asterisks there. Um... I like them winning 24 to 9. Enough said. Even their pri- even their backup who's going to be the primary player in this game probably just can throw bombs. The whole offense is rigged. And last but not least, we're at the bitter end, folks. Uh, we got San Francisco 49ers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they're hosting it the 49ers are and I think they'll win 20 to 17. The Cowboys went 10 and 6 last year, making the playoffs 4 and 12 for the 49ers. Um, I think the 49ers um, are a better team overall than the Cowboys, but we'll, that'll have to come forward later in the year. I think the Cowboys are going to be distracted by with you know the amount of contract shit going on. The Zeke holdout. I think there's going to be a lot going on behind the scenes that kind of distract them from this first game. I think the 49ers come in focused, the unit ready to go. Nick Mullins is probably going to play. I like their quarterback situation as uh, they have like two good backups for uh, Jimmy G. So. That's fine by my standard. I'm fine with that. Shanahan's one of my favorite coaches, uh, favorite young coach. He's the Bill Belichick of offense. We can we can think that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so those were my picks for the, uh, for you know, week one of the preseason. I hope you enjoyed them. Here's my preseason record so far. I went 0-1 on the Hall of Fame game. I'm 0-1 overall. Duh. I mean, there's only been one game, so... All right, we're getting we're cutting long. I don't want to make this 20 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed my week one of the NFL preseason picks video. Um, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Leave a comment down below with what you think of them. What are your picks? We can do like head to head like we did last year. So make sure you leave a comment with who your picks are to win these games. Um, I will note them. We'll note the differences and see who makes more correct picks, and then we'll see who does better at the start of the regular season. We did it all last year. It was a very fun time. Total, tell your total records. It's how you play pick them with people. So, uh, you know, you don't do the lines, yada, yada, yada. I hope you enjoyed uh, the first pick, uh, the first picks video of the year. Um, you know, here we are. The NFL season's here, folks. Finally. Uh, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Uh, only like three days till kickoff. So, August 8th, can you get here quick enough? What is that? Yeah, August 8th, get here. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Peace out.